Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and I am super excited to teach you how to create a multiple line announcement bar in your Squarespace website. Your announcement bar is displayed at the top of the page in Squarespace, and normally you can add a sentence or even multiple sentences if you'd like to. But in this tutorial, we're gonna take that a step further. I'll teach you how to turn those statements into rotating statements or scrolling text. Now, both options require just a little bit of custom code, and I've included the code in the description below. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can set this up in Squarespace together. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and let's go ahead and turn on the announcement bar so we can use these two codes. I'm going to navigate to pages and then I'll select website tools and then announcement bar. Here you can enable the announcement bar and this part is super duper important. Make sure you add a click through URL. Yes, you can technically add a link to an individual piece of text in your announcement bar, but both of the codes from this tutorial will create an animation, which will make it really difficult for someone to narrow in on one specific word in your announcement bar. So make sure the whole thing is clickable by clicking this option or typing in the link right here. All right, now that we're set, let's head on over back to our website tools so we can access our custom CSS. I'm going to click into this option and I'll open up this accordion so we can grab this first code. Now it looks like there's a lot of content here, but there are only two parts of this code that you're going to want to change. Okay, maybe three. Let's take a look at how this works. Pay close attention to my announcement bar after I paste this code into my custom CSS. You'll notice the size changed just a little bit and now we have text rotating through to display another line. Pretty awesome, right? Now this first part of the code that you might want to change is the height. I adjusted this to be the right size for my font that I'm using, but you might want to change this to be larger, maybe three or four, or maybe reduce it down to one EM. Adjust that until it suits the style of the text that you're using for your announcement bar. Now, the second part you want to change is what's between quotation marks right here in the content. This is the second line of text. I added an emoji and some text, but you can make this say anything you want, and you'll notice It'll update right there on the announcement bar. Again, that's anything between those quotation marks. And yes, you can use emojis to make it even more eye-catching. Now, last but not least, you might want to make an adjustment to how fast it's going. We have two instances here where it says 10S. That means each one of our announcements has about five seconds. Now, you can reduce this down to five seconds apiece, which will make it go super fast, maybe a little too fast. Increase it to 15 if you want it to go a little bit slower. Just make sure that you adjust both of those time values up. Otherwise, if you only adjust one, you could end up with some weird overlapping text that really doesn't look that great. After you've made all the changes you want to make to the rotating announcement bar text code, select save. Now, if that's a little bit too much, I've got one other code to share with you, and that's to create a scrolling announcement bar. Let's remove the code that we added and we'll select save again. And now we have our text displayed here at the top of the screen. Let's add this custom code so that text will scroll by the top of the screen. I'm gonna copy it here, paste it into my CSS, and instantly we're going to see the text for the announcement bar start to scroll across the screen. Now I don't have a lot of text there, so it looks a little weird. You might wanna increase the amount of text or have a full sentence if you're using this technique. That you can do inside the announcement bar editor, but here in your code, you might wanna adjust the animation length, which is set to 25 seconds. If that's too long, try 10 seconds. It will go a lot faster like this, which personally I think is way too fast. So let's go ahead and change that to 30. This is going to go by a lot slower. So again, super customizable, just adjust this animation length. Whatever value you've selected, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And one last reminder, back here in our website tools is where you can quickly find the announcement bar. You'll want to add your text here and make sure that you have a click through URL so someone can click on the announcement bar and be taken to that specific page relating to the announcement. And there you have it, my friend, an eye-catching way to display that announcement bar on your Squarespace website. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments, and check out some of the related content that I have linked below, because I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.